Hi, hello. Hey, uh, thanks a lot uh, to have me in this uh, session. So, yep. To start with, I think, um, can we show the slides here? Okay, cool. So, yeah, uh, thanks a lot for the introduction and uh, thanks a lot for uh, having me in this session. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for the enthusiasm and interest in Nanobyte. Uh, please be introduced. Uh, I'm Billy Suryajaya, running operations on Project Nano. Uh, it has been great engaging the people and absorbing the aspiration from the audience on Nanobyte. We are truly, truly humbled and excited to work to deliver this project for our users and for the public. And it's an honor uh, to introduce Nanobyte in this event. Next. Okay. So um, to begin, uh, what is Nanobyte uh, exactly? Uh, I think um, a simple explanation, uh, Nanobyte is a crypto token aiming to marry traditional finance and Web3 offering. So we do aim to be the financial services bridge uh, between the traditional finance and the new age finance. Uh, traditional finance here, the definition are the banking, investment, and the insurance of the world, while the Web3 finance are the decentralized finance, uh, decentralized exchange, the NFTs, the metaverse, and other blockchain-powered games and lifestyle. Uh, so some of the play-to-earn finance use cases on blockchain, for example. And we aim to be the party that links uh, these two industries together in a meaningful and useful way for our users and communities. Next. So, Nanobyte token, right? Uh, so Nanobyte token itself, uh, we do aim to make it uh, mainstream. We aim to make crypto itself mainstream in the country. So we know that, for example, crypto adoption is accelerating in Indonesia. Um, there are over um, 7 million users already uh, based on last year's data. But still, in a larger context, it is still a niche asset class, right, in the context of the entire financial services industry in the country. Therefore, our objective is to make this mainstream for the people in the country. We aim to bridge the crypto to the traditional financial services ecosystem by making crypto connected with financial services products such as credit card, insurance, e-money, and others, right? To support this vision, we have three key utilities or pillars. Uh, the first one is uh, Nanobyte as investment bridge. So the underlying blockchain uh, can be an engine for investment uh, asset class such as crypto stocks or even other trading activities. Um, second pillar is Nanobyte as payment bridge. This is in the form of crypto credit card uh, and peer-to-peer -peer and crypto e-money. And third is Nanobyte as financial services bridge partnering with insurance and loan providers and, and other partners, right? So while we have a good ecosystem to start with, uh, with our existing partners, uh, with Sinarmas, with Topo Crypto, and, and others. We know that we cannot do this alone, and we'll be open to more partnership as well. After all, our aim is to bring crypto mainstream to the community. So the more partners we have, the better we are overall. Next. And then, obviously, we are operating in our home market. We are fully focused in Indonesia. It's uh, the place that we want to be and the place that we are already in, right? Uh, we feel that right now we are at the right inflection point in Indonesia to grow and thrive at this sector. There are three reasons for it. The first one is that it's obvious that Indonesia is a huge country with over 270 million people with huge market potential for crypto. And also, we have a very young population. Uh, around half of our population is 30 years old or below, right? Two, the regulatory-wise, while crypto regulation globally is still being formulated, it is fair to say that at this point, Indonesia is considered to be one of the most supportive ones in terms of regulatory framework. It is one of the few large markets that offer clear legal status. Crypto is accepted regulatory as an asset class for store of value, or as investment, or as commodity, and is clearly regulated under BAPEPTI as a regulatory body. Right. And third, 
we have a very vibrant uh, tech and crypto ecosystem in the country. Within Southeast Asia uh, economy, Indonesia is by far the biggest economy among the different countries in Southeast Asia and is arguably the most important tech market in the region. We have seven tech unicorns in the country and are growing every year. And this has positive knock-on effect to the crypto world, as there are a lot of similarities in terms of agile approach, can-do attitude, and hungry talents in tech and crypto world. So it is the country that we want to be in. It is the country that we want to thrive in. And we are operating in this country. It is our home market. Next. So for Nanobyte, we are not starting from uh, zero per se. Uh, we are starting with a few key strategic partners and ecosystem. Uh, this makes us uh, quite strong in terms of coming into the market. Uh, we are supported and we work very closely within Sinarmas Group ecosystem, uh, uh, which is one of the largest conglomerate in the uh, country and has key pillar in financial services, real estate, telco, agri, and mining. Right, And we have been fortunate to work collaboratively with other key partners like Toko Crypto. And we are also constantly working to explore use cases with different partners such as Agate uh, for, for gaming development. Right, For investment itself, uh, for the investment utilities and use cases, we are connecting to Toko Crypto and Sinarmas Asset Management, Sinarmas Future, and Sin Invest. So we are starting up uh, strong uh, with, with the investment uh, use cases that we have in the pipeline. For payment, uh, besides Sinarmas Financial Services, Bank, and Insurance, we are also engaging different entities within the group, from P2P lending, such as Kawan Chichil, to uh, payment and telco at time aggregators such as Narindo. And for other utilities and use cases like gaming and eSport, we do have uh, partners in that space as well, uh, from Agate uh, to uh, other eSports team like Red Bull Rebellion. So we have a, a strong ecosystem to begin with, uh, and, but we are not stopping here. Uh, we are continuously engaging different uh, parties within the ecosystem to ensure that we can go from a niche uh, a market to become more mainstream. Next. Now, I think uh, for uh, anyone who is operating in digital world or in crypto world or in most industries, we know that ultimately it's all about the team as well. Uh, as much as the idea uh, is brilliant uh, and, and the ecosystem is great. Ultimately, uh, we need a strong team uh, to be able to execute. And I'm, I'm quite pleased to, to introduce our team. Uh, here, we are proud that we have assembled a good team who can execute well and execute fast. It starts with our CEO, uh, Fahu Tama Pastika, or uh, often known as Tommy. Uh, so besides CEO of Project Nano, Tommy is also advisor to the board of Sinarmas Financial Services and sit on the board of uh, Agate Gaming Company. Right? And Tommy himself is very enthusiastic on the crypto world in, and is probably one of the most knowledgeable person in this space. I myself, I run operation in Project Nano. Uh, I used to run payment and transaction in Sinarmas Financial Services uh, with some background in digital media and management consulting. And we have uh, Septian Andika, who is our blockchain tech personnel. Andika has extensive blockchain and crypto tech experience in the country and have helped uh, parties like Topo Crypto as well as CFUN uh, uh, at present. On community, we have Genta, uh, who is one of the youngest members of the team. Uh, but don't let his age uh, fool us. Uh, he's probably the most experienced in engaging community and has done extensive work for uh, crypto exchanges like Zipmac in the past. And Genta is also an influencer himself with large followers based in social media. And we have uh, Queen Seka or Chesa as our queen of marketing. Uh, Chesa is a former county manager of Afana Tech Commerce and is running uh, marketing intensely uh, in the organization today. And last but not least, we have uh, Fuganto Wijaya as our key business advisor who's been providing insightful guidance and key support for the project. Uh, Pafu is CEO of Sinarmas Mining and executive board member of Sinarmas Financial Services. So we are very transparent in terms of our team. Uh, we, we laid it out, out there for public to see. 
And obviously, besides the key people that, that we have listed here, there are countless other team members who have, who have been contributing significantly uh, to this project that uh, we'll introduce in due time in future. Next. Uh, next. Okay. Um, I think it's, it goes one page too fast, uh, uh, previous page. Okay. So um, we want to uh, also introduce uh, first use case of Nanobyte in this event. Uh, so Nanobyte as exchange token for Nanobest. So there are two pillars here. There's Nanobyte as our token and there's Nanovest as our investment platform. When we start this project, uh, we actually uh, launched Nanovest back in December. It's an investment platform allowing users to buy and sell crypto and global stock. So we built the platform to target retail users. Users can buy or trade from as little as 5,000 rupiah per trade. And there are over 120 crypto assets and over 2,000 global stocks available to trade, right? So these are from popular crypto like Bitcoin, ETH, BNB, to global stocks like Tesla, Alphabet, Google, Meta, Facebook, Netflix, and so on. So there are countless of asset class available to trade in Nanovest. And Nanobyte will be an exchange token for Nanovest. Users can earn Nanobyte by signing up, referring uh, users uh, within Nanofest or by participating in gamification in the platform. Next. So far, we have over 2 million downloads in Nanovest. Uh, we launched in late December uh, and we are listed as top five finance app in Indonesia. Uh, more than 600,000 users have fully completed the KYC with us and hundreds of thousands of users have started trading on the platform. Next. So in terms of uh, Nanobyte in uh, financial sectors and the other use cases that we have in the pipeline, um, this is just a snapshot of what uh, we have in the pipeline. There are plenty more and they are also available in our white paper. So please uh, feel free to look into our white paper as well. But in terms of the snapshot, we have a few. Uh, crypto credit card is one. Uh, we understand that uh, crypto is a store of value and therefore cannot be applied to debit card and we explore a uh, crypto credit card as, well, uh, as an option. So this is one uh, uh, use case that we have. As financial services bridge, uh, Nanobyte as collateral for lending mechanism, uh, as well as, as payment bridge with potential integration with mechanisms such as e-money in future. Next. Yep. Um, just some uh, highlight in terms of uh, Nanobyte tokenomics. Um, so for uh, people uh, who are new to Nanobyte, um, the, again, the white paper is available uh, that, that covers a lot more details. A uh, quick highlight here is that we have a fixed supply of 10 billion tokens. It's a BP20 token affiliated with BSC, Binance Smart Chain. Uh, we do aim to be multi-chain in futures. Uh, we are community focused uh, as uh, seen per allocation of, of our token, which are geared towards users, community, and partners. Uh, and for this public sale uh, on, on the 25th of uh, Feb, we are allocating about 50 million tokens, right? Next. Yep. So that's it uh, for the intro. Uh, we are excited and hope to have you join us in this uh, exciting journey ahead. And we are pleased to, to uh, host this event and, um, and we'll continue to engage you. And please feel free if there is any input or any suggestion uh, going forward. Uh, we are, uh, our focus is very community-based. Uh, we are available in social media, in Telegram, Instagram, as well as Twitter. Thank you.